Hey ladies! Right, I thought I'd come back and show you some more work that I've done on my book, seeing as everybody's like, oh, when are you doing some more? We're waiting! <laughs> right, um, to this first page, I've just added a few bits. Um, I think I showed you the flowers. And then I've just added this lovely rosette trim um, that I got in a kit from Fiona. Now, I may well put something in the middle of there, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't know if I like it just like that, just natural. Um, yeah, I think I do. Um, I've not, I don't think I've spoiled the um, effect. You can still see the doily. And I've put a ruffle trim on the back side to this page, like I said I were going to do. Um, and I just put some wood in a plate there. I can't remember if that was on the first time or not. Just to extend the page a bit, just to... Just to change the shape round, so it, you know it doesn't have to be exact, does it? Um, it's made it quite. This trim now has made it quite big. Um, what size are we on here? It's going to like nine inches wide by about eight high, so it's going to be quite a significant, supposed mini doily book. I think I'll have a go at another one with smaller doilies next time, because um, I did want a small. You know, almost like a charm size one. And um, this is ending up more like a fabric book. But I'm only doing four pages. I'm not extending that because I've only got four doilies that are the same. And I wanted them the same. So I'm sticking to that principle. Um, so I think I showed you all that. And then this is what I've done on the next page. So I used this gathered trim that I got from a seller on eBay. It's not expensive stuff. Um, it's already gathered and I didn't want to gather it anymore because I wanted it to be see-through sort of so you could see the pattern of the lace because I want to be able to see everything that I put on here I don't want anything to be hidden on here you can see everything you can see the doily it's not covered up you can see the pleaks you can see these little trimmings that are you know leftover trimmings um, you can see everything it, you know I've put another little applique there because I'm going to be binding it together with ribbon and my idea is that it'll tie in a bow there so this applique's just there to give me a guidance of where I want to bind. <laughs> it's for my reference. Then I, I, I've done this page here. Now I've told myself that I can do a bit more embellish, embellishments on the um, opposite sides because these are just felt. So I'm not covering up anything special by putting more embellishments on so i've got another image here she's a little bit a little bit scratched um because it's done on photo paper and just i just hot glued gunned it and it's just scratched it a bit but i'm not bothered because i think it makes it look a little bit sort of aged so i'm not i'm not fussy and then i've just fr framed her with some bling trim and i've put some wedding applique here um i did border this with a a little pink um narrow lace but then it uh, oh, and I did um, put some lace under here, but I put it down the side. It's not underneath the image because that would just be a waste. So I put the image on first and then put the lace around it because um, I'm not um, wasting it. <laughs> so I just cut a small piece and I stuck it on with tacky glue. Uh, Applique's mirror imaging and then that's just a cut out of a doiler there and some little doodars. Doodars and one of these um, that Rachel Hart gifted me. I've got a very sneaky feeling she's got these off Fiona. Oh, no. <laughs> um, some more of that trim that I had left, so that's used up now. Um, I've no, no pieces left, not even one single flower I used it. So that's not got wasted. Same with this little daisy trim, that's all been used. Well, I've, I've finished using it on the next page, which you'll see in a minute. Um, this is one of the lovely lilies that I got gifted from Melissa and then there's some more uh, leftover trim there I just had three little scallops of that trim so I've just put it down the side there and put a little flat black pearl on on each flower on each you know on the little flowers that's in the middle I don't think I put one on there no I didn't put one on the bottom one because you can't really see it for the for the flower so I thought I might as well not waste it my wedding applique at the back just to give it a bit of uh, shape so there you go 
uh, and then I've started the next page so these are going to get I don't quite know how I'm going to bind these yet but they're going to bind at that side so this is going to this scalloped bit is going to be the outer edge and then I'm either going to sew bind it or ring bind it I'm not sure yet I might have to get a big um, embroider a big thick embroidery needle and some ribbon and bind it that way I'm not sure so that's them two pages and then I just started working Page two. I just started working on this page today. Now it's not as big as these pages. Um, oops, just knocked some on the floor. This is the front page. So I've extend. I don't mind this lace being extended, and the back page will be extended with lace as well. And then the two inner pages aren't going to be extended with lace. They're going to stay their original size. Okay, that's what I've decided. <laughs> Cause I can. <laughs> right now. Um. I also decided that in these fabric books, I don't see why it has to be just pictures, just images. So I've done something different here and I've done a page with a birdcage on. Um, it's a die cut I've had gifted from Geraldine. Geraldine gave me that. I don't know if you can see, but I've um, embossed. They were on like, uh, white cardstock, I think. So I did put... Um, is it antique linen or aged paper? I don't know. One of embossing inks. Just to yellow that white card just in case any of it showed through. Anyway, I haven't done it. It's covered quite well. And um, I did the same on the cage. And now the cage is covered in a slightly darker, slightly darker powder. That is um, paper, man is it paper mania. Paper mania is gold. And um, that is like a solid colour of gold and it and it dries metallic looking this one dries glittery and it's called what's it called here it is enchanted gold um so they're both lovely lovely um embossing powders i love it i love embossing stuff i really enjoy it it just uh I, well I, I'm a bit like a kid and I just like watching it develop. <laughs> and then there are holes punched in the bottom of here and I did try with the idea of dangling things off or tying lace round and stuff. And I tried it and it just didn't seem to work. So I scrapped that idea. Now I've left it just felt, just white felt because I liked the clean, fresh look and I didn't bother covering it with lace because I didn't think I needed to. I want the focus to be on here so there's no need to have lace there because, well, because I'm tight and I didn't want to waste it. So I've finished off um, this um, little daisy trim here, I've just run that, run around the edge of the um, felt just to cover the just to cover the join really, and then this little bow here, I think that came in my dream lace crafters kit that I got off of Fiona, and it had really long tails, so I've twisted them round um, to make them look like curled. You know, like the curled, and just dotted bits of glue here and there. Um, and I've done the same on that side, and you can just see it there. Um, and that's really pretty. And then this little resin bird. Um, I've got a few I can't for life in me remember who gave me those. I'm getting to where I can't always remember, and I used to do. Um, but I've got a few of them, so somebody's gifted them me. I can't think. I've got a feeling it's Anne Chambers, but I'm not sure. Whoever, you, whoever gifted me them, I'm sure you can remember and let me know. And then just down the side, I've just done a little tiny floral display with these little peachy flowers. I think they must have been in a kit because I've not bought them. Um, the lilies I've had gifted. I've had some gifted from Anne and some gifted from Mel, I think. And then I've used some of the my favourite trim that Amanda Nash sponsors my channel with because <laughs> she sent me loads and I use it and I, what I do is I cut the leaves off and I use the leaves a lot in my projects and then I save these bits and I've got a little tub here and I put them in this tub and then and then I'll use them on projects as well you know stick them in the middle of flower displays whatever um, and I have used it as is as well so it's just such a useful trim and I just love it. 
Um, so I've put those there and they're like pearlized and they're acrylic and they're just lovely. I love them. These little white rolled roses, um, I think, if my memory serves me right, Anne Earl sent me those. Um, and it's the first time I've used them because I have to hoard things. When people send me stuff, I generally hoard them for quite a while before I can use them. Um, so that's as far as I've got so far. Um, I'm not going to, as I say, I'm not going to extend this page because I want these outer, ed outer edges of this doily to show. Um, so that it looks pretty. But yeah, so, them, so that's like three sides so far. So front. And then that's my second page. And my third page. Like that. And I'm not sticking to one colour, although the background colour obviously is white because the doilies are white and the felt's white. Um, there won't be any massively strong colours, um, like dark colours. I don't really do dark colours generally. Not generally, I don't. Um, so that's why we're, that's why I'm up to so far, ladies. I hope you can see, because I am filming on my iPad and it's not the best for um, showing projects. I have got my camera on charge. And I will um, do some more. I, I, I'd like to film whilst I do a page so you can see how I put them together. But the problem is, first, like, I take ages and it ages to do, you know, to like decide what I'm doing. I just um and ah quite a bit. And secondly, um, I get disturbed a lot because my husband has his own business and I have to do this, that and the other. My phone goes a lot during the day and I get bothered. So I can't like really craft for a very long period of time. You know, all in one go. Very rare, unless he's out. Then I can. <laughs> so I will try and um, show you the process of me doing, actually doing a page. Like, you know, so you can see it as I'm doing it. Um, and there is a reason that there's birds in this book. It's not random. Okay, so which I will probably tell you when I've finished. Right, ladies, there you go. Hope you like that. And um, that's the next instalment. I'm hoping to get some more done tonight. Need to get on with it because I've got um, a few more projects looming and deadlines looming, so I need to get on, really. So, right, ladies, um, I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um... Okay, if you're watching, I hope you're resting and not being naughty. And um, Betsy Doodle, if you're watching, stop being sad. Enjoy your holiday. <laughs> She's meant to be on holiday. She'll be like that in her hotel room. Like that on, on YouTube on a laptop. <laughs> oh dear. Right, ladies, I'm going. And I will see you again when I've done some more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.